Hello. This uh, short video is going to show you how to save photos for the uh, web. As you know, photos, when you take them in your camera, can be very large. Uh, for example, if we take a look at this photo here, which I've downloaded from iStock Photo, you can see that it, I have it filling the screen. I can set this down to uh, uh, actual pixels which will show you that you know this picture is substantially larger than it appears on the screen and we can see how big it is by going over here to image image size and we can see that it is 200 or 2767 pixels wide by 1776 pixels high this works out to a document size of roughly a little more than 38 inches by uh, 24 inch a little more than 24 inches now, how do we know that that pixel size is going to give us that document size? Well, if we look right here at the resolution, we see the resolution is 72. Now, that's the size resolution that we would like to have for an image to upload it to the web. If we take that 72 and divide it into 2,767, we get this width of a document. And if we divide 72 into the 1776, this is the height that we get. So the document size in terms of inches is really based on the resolution, the number of pixels per inch, divided into the number of pixels. Now we can take this, since it's already a 72, uh, set at 72 pixels per inch for resolution, we can go ahead and, and we can make this a smaller image and uh, we want to maintain the uh, constrained proportions uh, link and uh, we don't really want a picture on the web larger than 600 uh, pixels so since the width is the largest I'm just going to change that to 600 pixels and if I click OK and save that you can see that we now have an image that is much much more manageable and uh, if I that's the actual print size and if I go up here and say fit on the screen it actually makes it larger and you can see we've now lost some of the resolution in that picture because we've got some space it's it's pixelating and if we even go larger you can see the uh, pixelating uh, occur and so we just want to look at that at actual pixels now that image is already a JPEG Let's go over here. I've got an image of Portland, Oregon uh, in the rain. And uh, this image here is 200 or 2,560 pixels wide and 1920 pixels high. But you can see this has got a much, much larger resolution. We would not want to use a resolution that size for the web. That's a good size for printing, but for the web, we want that resolution to be 72. So when we change that to 72, you can see what happens is our width in terms of pixels uh, is going to change, and so is the height, and the document size is going to change. Now, let's go ahead and save this for the web. We're going to make this 600 pixels wide and that's going to be 400 pixels high and um, we want this if we come down here since we're going to be making this into a smaller picture we want to use bicubic sharpener which is best for reduction so we're going to select that and when we click OK you can see that image has become smaller but we've still maintained some integrity on that now let's take and go here to uh, fit on screen you can see that there's still some pixelation but it's not nearly as bad as it was with the uh, the other image, and that's because it's we're we've we're working with different resolutions. Now, that's not the last thing that I want to do to save this for the web. You go over here to File, drop down, and go to Save for Web and Web Devices, and this brings an image up that shows the original and it shows this as a JPEG using a 30 quality and a JPEG using a 15 quality and a JPEG using a 7 quality. Now you see it tells us 
how many seconds this takes to load at 56.6 kilobytes per second. Now this is set at medium, which is what I saved images at later. If I go up here to maximum, you can see that at the highest quality, uh, it's going to take 89 seconds to, uh, to fill the screen. We just don't want something taking that long. And since we're looking, it's not being printed, we're looking at it on a computer, we're probably okay using this uh, at a medium, but we can look, what does it look like as, at the lowest setting? Well, that doesn't look too bad. You can grab uh, that image, click on your mouse, and it turns into a gripping hand, and we can move it around and we can see that doesn't look all that bad. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that. And I'm going to change this from Portland Rain. We're going to say Portland Rain 72 and save that on the desktop. Now, you're not always going to be able to work with just large images. Sometimes you want to have a thumbnail. And to make this into a thumbnail, what you need to do is you need to make it even smaller. So we go back up here to Image, Image Size, and for a thumbnail, we really want something in the range of from uh, 72 to 96 pixels in width and height. Since this is a wider uh, picture, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, set that in at 96 pixels for the width and just let it determine what the height would be. I still want to keep this bicubic sharpener, which is best for reduction. And you can see that that pixel is going to end up being a little over one and a third by one inches high. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see we've got a very small image. Uh, we'll want to take that and go over here and go to File, Save for Web and Devices. And you can see now that that's going to load in one second. So we can pop that up probably to the maximum. And it's only going to take three seconds. So when we've got something that small, we want to improve the quality as much as we possibly can. They're not going to be able to see detail on this, but it's going to give them some idea if you're using a thumbnail or a series of thumbnails, what picture they ought to click on if they want to see the larger one. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Save, and we're going to call this Portland Rain Thumb. So I know that it's a thumbnail, and I'm saving that to my desktop. And if we want to view that in actual pixels, there it is. If we want to view it and print size, that's it. And if we add, make it fit on the screen, you're going to see a highly pixelated image. That view is just simply for a thumbnail to be used. So that's how you prepare images to be put on the web. Thank you.